Hello. Today, it's on a nice rainy day, a little windy, got a little uh, ICA coming out there, a little tropical storm. So I decided to cook uh, my favorite spaghetti sauce. Uh, kind of developed this about, what, well, about 14, 15 years ago. It's really good. Let me show you what's in here. Um, we're going to use some ground beef. I like to use meatballs, but today I'm just using some ground beef. Uh, we got salt, pepper, basil, red pepper, and then uh, we got some onions, nice onions. I'm being lazy today. I like a Vidalia onion, and then mushrooms. I'm using fresh mushrooms today. They're baby bellas, sliced, real nice. And then uh, the uh, meat to our sauce is this McCormick mix. Uh, I find it the best flavor that I have tasted. And I had some real Italian friends, and they love this. They said this is the most authentic they can get to it, better than that jar stuff. But if you have to go jar, that's fine. It has a lot of sugars and crap that you don't want. Uh, black pepper, of course, and then are also tomato paste. I'm using tomato paste today. This is the best brand, Contadilla. Very good, very good. Also, you got to have a nice olive oil. I like this brand here. About 20 bucks a bottle. I know it's a little on the cheaper side, but you got to spend some money on some olive oil. You got to spend some money on some olive oil. All right. Also, I like using fresh garlic, even though this mix has some garlic in it. I like using the fresh, so I got me a clove of garlic here. May use a second one, we'll see how it goes. But this is the best tool. If you don't have this, it's called a garlic thin slicer. It is awesome. You put that garlic in there, I'll show you how to use it a little later. But uh, by the Pampered Chef, best thing on the market, best thing I can find, of course you need your knife. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get started. You can see, we got this meat going here. We're gonna put it on high. And then always, always, always season as you go. Season as you go. If you don't season that meat, it's going to be bland or whatever. You don't want to put much in there because you're going to have seasoning on the way in the sauce and everything. But that seasoning as you go, you can just use a little salt and pepper. That's all I'm using. This, again, salt, kosher salt is the way to go because a little bit goes a long way. So you can see it's frying up here. We're gonna start with our meat first. I like putting that in one pan. This pan, we're gonna do our vegetables and we're gonna our sauce. In the back, of course, we'll use that to uh, cook our rigatoni. Today I'm using rigatoni. Sometimes I like spaghetti, whatever. Ziti is really good, but we're just doing, the main thing we're focused on today is that sauce. That sauce is gonna be good, let me tell you that. All right, so you take a wooden spoon. Always, when you use this Teflon stuff, you gotta use a wooden spoon. If you use a spoon like this, they're gonna scratch it up and all that stuff's gonna come up. Woo, as you can see, can you see this? We're getting some good meat here. You wanna grind up as you go. And like I said, I already seasoned this before we turned it on. Yeah. Yes, get that going. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Now this meat you cook on about medium hot. Medium hot. Ground it up. Ground up as you go. I'll turn the light on so you see what you're doing. Woo! Getting hot in here. Yes. Like I said, I barely do a meat sauce, but today I'm doing a meat sauce, so we'll see how it goes. All right, well, we'll be right back. Let me get this meat fixing, and then the next thing we're gonna do is start our vegetables. 